Now, once you launch the game, go to features and then go to video settings. Now, if the window mode is set to full screen, you can try window mode. Now, if the display resolution is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down mode. Now, resolution scaling method. Now, if, if you're using like AMD, FSR2 or NVIDIA DLSS, make sure that you set resolution scaling quality to quality. And But in my case, I will just turn it off. Now, go to vertical sync. Now, if the vertical sync is off, you can turn on the vertical sync. Also, if you see dynamic vertical sync, if this is off, you can turn it on and then check. If that does not work, you can even turn it off and then check. Now, also disable HDR. Now, scroll down, disable ray tracing. If this is on, turn it off. Now, texture detail quality. Now, if this is set to very high, uh, sorry, high, you can set it to medium. And I will keep it low. Now, overall quality over here, if, if, if it is set to ultra, you can set it to high or you can even set it to medium. So I will set it to medium. Now, apply the settings and then check the performance. Also, make sure if build shaders is not complete, make sure you run all the shader build. And once that is complete, you can check. So once you make the changes, now check the performance. Now, the first step is to simply restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to disable overlay. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties. And then if the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game, if this is on, you can turn it off and then check. Next step is to close all other overlay applications. So if you have overlay on in Discord, you can go to Discord settings, go to overlay and turn off overlay. In GeForce Experience, go to settings and then turn off in-game overlay. So close all the overlay application and then check. Also close all the overclocking applications. So if you have MSI Afterburner, Revert Tuner running, close it or any kind of overclocking application, close it. Now close all the third party application and services, including your browsers and then check. Next step is to unplug all the external devices. So if you have these devices like hotas, wheel, pedals connected, disconnect it. If you have any kind of extra USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. Disconnect multiple monitor, try launching the game single monitor and then close all the, as I've already told you, close all the third party application. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, then remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on browse local files. Now here you can see the game exe file. Now make a double click over here, try launching the game from the game installation folder. If that does not work, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, go to properties once again. And this time, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, and then launch the game and then check. Still not working. So you can uncheck these boxes and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to, now if you're using any third party antivirus like VAST, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, in that case, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, and then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the end, you will see manage ransomware protection, click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow, and then click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive. Program file 686. Now open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Open the game folder. Select the game exe file. Click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel. Go to system and security 
and then click on Windows Defender Firewall. Click on Allow an App or Feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on Change Settings on the top. Click on Allow another app. Click on Browse, and then go to the Game Installation folder once again, and then open the Game folder. Select the .exe file. Click on Open. Now click on Add. In my case, the game is already added. So once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to change the refresh rate to 60 or you can set the refresh rate as per your monitor in video settings. Now for this to access video settings you can open file explorer on computer and then go to this PC and then open C drive. Now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data. If you don't see app data over here click on view on the top and then select show and then put a check on hidden items. Now open app data folder. Now open the local folder. Now over here you can see 2k sports folder. Open this folder. Now over here you will see NBA 2k25 folder. So open this folder and here you will see video settings. So make a right click on video settings. Open with notepad. Now over here you can see the refresh rate. In my case it is already set to 60. So you can type in 60 over here and then or you can if your monitors refresh rate is 144 you can try 144. So you can write down your monitors refresh rate or you can set it to 60. I will keep at 60 and then go to file and then click on save. Uh, sorry. In my case, I have already saved it. So let me do one thing. Go to properties. In my case, I have put a check on read only. So that's why I was not able to save. So type in 60 or you can type in the value of your monitor refresh rate. Now you can go to file and then click on save. And once that is done, you can make a right click, go to properties and then put a check on read only and hit apply. Click on OK. Next time, whenever you want to make changes, in that case, you have to uncheck this box and then you can make changes and then you can hit apply. Click on OK. Now still not working. The next step is to now next step is to rename or delete video settings file. So you can you can go back and you can rename this NBA 2K25. But when you do so, you will lose all the saved settings and and the save game progress. Also, you will lose all the game progress. So only if you agree, you can rename this NBA 2K25. In my case, I've already renamed it. So you can make a right click and then you can just rename it to .old or whatever you want. So you can rename this, but you have to start everything from scratch and then you can check. I will not do it. I already did it. Now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website. Now on this website, make sure that you select your series, select your graphic card over here. Now, once you select your graphic card over here, make sure that you select the right operating system and then click on find. Now, once you click on find, you will see this page, the latest one, well, the latest driver will be on top. So right now it's 560.94. Now click on view over here and then click on download. And once the download is complete, you can run the exe file. Once you run, run the exe file, you will see the screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. Now select next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next. And once the installation is complete, then restart your computer and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. So type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings. Now click on browse and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file, click on add. In my case, the game is already added. Now once the game is added, click on the game and then click on options. Select high performance over here. Now click on save and then launch the game.
Next step is to verify the game files. Now to verify the game files, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select uh, go to Steam, make a right click, go to properties and then go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Now once this verification is 100% complete, now you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website here, you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. Download x86 and x64. So download x86 and then run this exe file. Now if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. Again, download this x64 file now. And you have to run this exe file as well. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. Click on yes to allow and let the repair complete. Now, once both are installed, you will see a restart option. So you have to restart your computer after the installation and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So open Windows settings, go to update and security or Windows update and then go and check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, restart your computer and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size, it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16, 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So 1, 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the last step is to and now before that you have to update your system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, select your computer and then 
update the system BIOS. Now, in case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer. And during the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to a different drive. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, select properties, uh, select manage and then click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder and delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check if, if the game is already installed to C drive. In that case, you can try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on a Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.